Okay, here we have two amazing, very uh, beautiful you know, portraits of uh, young children, teenagers. Um, uh, explain to us this work, and who's the artist? Uh, the artist is Rina Saini Kalat, uh, and uh, you know, we again, these were acquisitions, gallery acquisitions. And uh, you know, she, her work deals with again another aspect of identity where she, uh, you know, in her words, she says she, she tries to explore the complexities of uh, interacting in a contemporary world. You Wait, know, I'm sorry, but where is she based? She's in Bombay. In Bombay, okay. okay. So uh, she's actually married to an artist who's very well known, Jatish Kalat, who uh, you know some might uh, agree is sort of one of the bigger artists, uh, contemporary artists who people in, in the West know about. Mm -hmm. um, so Rina's work, uh, you know, explores these dichotomies in Indian society, much like you know uh, the slum dog did in mm -hmm. a way. You know, you know, you go into uh, seeing all these different things that coexist next to each other in India. And uh, you know, this is the Sod Swallower series, and so uh, you know that they're uh, photographs or paintings, uh, rather, of uh, paintings off of photographs. So mm -hmm. they, they, these are photographs, kids, and then they, they, she's painted them. Uh, of these young children um, who, uh, you know, she's juxtaposed uh, sort of very aesthetically, creatively uh, um, uh, amongst something that is sort of old and archaic, like the sod right. in India, you know, in yeah. Club Bombay you'll see on the, the streets and the, the, street, uh, performers, yeah, yeah. the street performers. And, uh, but you know, it just it, it, she's really clever because she uses the, these are on board and they're floating. All three of them. Uh, oh, sorry. All um, all the panels are actually yeah, different. Yeah, five there are five in each. Um, so even the way that she uses to mount her work and right. present her work is sort right. of telling you something. So um, I'm very intrigued by first of all the blue in the painting, yeah. and then she's used these. I don't know. If she's taken a knife actually to sort of crack. It gives this feeling of these old photographs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before the digital age, yeah. when I mean, they start to they start to crack as such. I think that's a part of her technique. Uh, you know, she doesn't want to present perfect pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't want because they're not. Uh, you know, you. Uh, I mean, these are beautiful faces, but there's you know, I mean, an artist is con constantly trying to tell mm -hmm, you something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you'll see that in the two works at the end of the hall there as well. I mean, her she. She has this very grainy quality to uh, when she works, where she, you know you'll think that she spent a lot of time uh, on a picture, and then she takes sort of this brush across. As mm -hmm. a so it's interesting. Is this is this oil? Uh, it's oil. It on gives paper. it gives all the feel yeah. of oil on paper. Yeah. Yeah. But I like the way it's been, as you said earlier, the way it's been mounted. I mean, you can see actually the shadow behind the paper, the way it's been. Right. Um, you know, I'm curious about how it's been actually attached, and there's a glass yeah. case, of course, yeah. around it. Yeah. Now, would you uh, these two be sold as companion pieces? Uh, I feel like they should go. They should together. go together yeah, right? if somebody has should. space, because it would it would break my heart to see that right. broken up. I think uh, you know, in such symmetry there, and it's telling you so Somebody much. had like a like a like an apartment with this long hall, so yeah. it should be in two. <laughs> I I used to work at Reader's Digest, and there were these two Modigliani's which they sold off, and they were at the two ends of this hall, and you know they were staring, and then they, they auctioned them and went to two different people. People, yeah. but yeah, you, 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 uh, it so, would it would so be nice if they go together. Rina uh, represents, uh, you know, this sort of there's a very large community of uh, artists who live in Bombay mm -hmm. because that's where uh, sort of uh, India seems to be really bringing together a lot of talent and. Uh, they, so, you know, she uh, represents these group. In fact, most of the artists in the show, uh, at least a part of. Uh, you know, the, the ones that come from India, mm -hmm. from Bombay. Um, you know, Bombay is really a bubbling city and it's really sort of, you know, the, uh, the art is really exploding yeah, there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much for having us over. I mean, it was a silly, very fascinating show, and there are so many other pieces that we didn't talk about and very different forms of art, really. But uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming.